Hey guys, and welcome back to My Lilac Hill. My name is Brittany. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today, I am just gonna do a real quick video and show you as I'm kind of starting to set up seed starting for the year and kind of my general setup. Um, I keep it very cheap. I don't have a greenhouse. I'm actually in my bedroom right now by my windows. And so I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'll also show some pictures from how I had it set up last year and just kind of give you guys some ideas on seed starting um, with what you have. You don't have to go and buy anything fancy. Like I said, I'm just using my windows. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around and get started. Okay, so this is the general area. I only have one of my shelves out right now. I will get my other shelf out eventually, but I will wait until I have more seedlings going. Um, but it is just one of those little wire rack shelving units and I've just got it here in the corner of my bedroom where I have a couple of really good windows. Um, this out here is east, um, so this would be a south facing window, and this gets a lot of direct sunlight throughout the day. You can't tell today because it's raining, but typically there's quite a bit. And what I have here is just some LED lights, and I've got that on each shelf all the way down and then I do have some grow mats here as well and these are turned on right now because under here I'll go ahead and show you what I've got going on I have started some pepper seeds I do the paper towel method where I get a really wet paper towel and I just start the germination process that way and I have them sandwiched between two heat mats these are really low heat um, so it's not too hot, but um, peppers really like it hot. And this is the best method that I have found for starting my pepper seeds. I have the most success doing it this way. And then I just kind of keep a towel on it to keep some of the light out. Um, because as you can see here on the edges, some of the seeds are getting a little bit of light. So I just kind of keep that covered. And then I'll leave my pepper seeds there for about a week to 10 days. Sometimes it takes longer for them to start um, sprouting, but you'll notice when they start kind of sprouting out in here, you'll see the little sprouts. Once they've got a pretty established sprout, you'll wanna move them from the paper towel into a um, seedling mix or potting soil, preferably seedling mix, just because they don't, the seedling mix doesn't have as much like debris, wood chips, that kind of stuff for the seedlings to be hindered by and then I just kind of keep some of my seed starting supplies here on the shelves all of my seeds and my seed starting mix is down um, underneath of the shelving unit now once I have all of my trays out here full of seeds obviously I won't be storing stuff here um, but right now I've just got it sitting there and I do plan on taking you through another video on all of this and how I do my seed starting in such a frugal manner. So I will do another separate video on that, but this is just kind of to show you how I have it set up. And I'll go ahead and throw a few pictures in from last year, just so you can kind of see. And then obviously throughout this year, I will take you along the journey and show you kind of what I've got going on. Again, this is just the first shelf and I will have my second shelf right here. Um, I also have a table out in the living room, which I'll take you there now. So this is a table that I put in front of the window here in the living room. As you can see, it currently houses some of my son's favorite toys, um, but this will get cleared off once I need the space and these curtains will open up and I'll have a little bit more area to put everything. This will primarily be for more established plants and I'll keep all of the younger seedlings in my bedroom. So I know that that was just a really short introductory video to how I'm gonna have everything set up for starting seeds, but I did just wanna kind of show you, um, that way as I start my seedlings, you can kind of see what my intentions are for this area. And I hope that that maybe inspired you to use some of the stuff that you have on hand and try to keep it a little bit more cost effective. It can get very expensive if you're starting seeds and you're buying all kinds of 
um, you know, the latest and greatest things, but you don't need anything fancy. Um, and that's really what I want to show is just a really cost effective way of starting your seeds without a greenhouse. So I hope you liked what you saw. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share my videos on your social media. That really helps my channel to grow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care.